This is DJ Elias, and I'm here to count down the top 40 songs, my top 40 songs of the year 2016. Happy New Year. 2016 is over. 2017 is here. Now this is, I'm an open format DJ, so this is more of a pop groove list. So there's not too much like elevator music that you would hear and no slow songs, just like a groovy pop mix. And this list is based on the requests that I've had, the stuff that you hear on the radio, just in general, just my personal top 40 list. Now when I look at this list, the first thing that comes to mind is, man, I need to fucking retire. All right, coming at number 40, Closer by the Chainsmokers. You know, I know this, this song was a lot higher on other people's lists, but I hate this freaking song. There's something about the lyrics that just freaking irks me, man. Baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your rover, the one you can't afford, like the tattoo on your shoulder and the mattress that you stole from your roommate out in Boulder. These are the fucking lyrics of this fucking song. I hate it. The only reason it's on this list is because it was fucking pounded into your head every single day and pop radio and just you just heard it everywhere. At number 39 we have No Problem by Chance the Rapper and 2 Chains. Hip hop song. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. It was alright. Coming in at coming in at number 38. Cool Girl by Tovi Low. I like this song. Had a nice little bass line. That's what's missing in a lot of today's music, man, that I kind of miss. And it's starting to come back now, which I'm kind of liking. But the, a lot of the music don't have any bass lines, man. All you have is that drone that goes There's no bass lines like back in the day, man. So, Tovi Lo bringing the bass line back. Love the track. That comes in at number 38. At 37, we have Hands to Myself, Selena Gomez. Nice pop song. Selena Gomez, very popular. It's all right. 36. Stitches by Shawn Mendes. Nice catchy little tune. You know, a lot of these songs, I need the remix to be able to play it. You know, I can't play the originals because the originals don't have enough oomph, you know what I'm saying? But, but there's a good thing there's a lot of good remixers out there that make decent remixes of them so that I can actually get played in my gigs. Like, because I, I DJ all kinds of parties, weddings. I do a, a weekly gig at a bar and grill and... You know, so to get the dance for a pump, and I'm usually end up, I usually end up playing the remixes of these songs. And at number 35, The Greatest by Sia, featuring Kendrick Lamar. It's all right. It's okay. Coming at number 34, Faded by Kanye West. You know, this I was kind of just you know digging the old school samples, the old school vibe that Kanye West put together. Decent song, danceable. Coming at number 33, man. Broccoli by D.R.A.M. featuring Little Yachty. I don't get this song, but I'm an old dude, so I'm not supposed to get it. But I do play it just because I know there are people out there that do appreciate it. It's just not my kind of music, but hey, man, I'm old school. Next up at number 32, we have Heathens by 21 Pilots. This is another one of those songs where you can't really play the original out. You know, the original is just a freaking... A little uh, slow, dreary kind of song, but they, you know, luckily there's a lot of uh, good remixes out there. So I ended up playing remixes of this song, and it's a very popular song. It was in that uh, that movie. Coming in at number 31 is Flowrider with My House. Yeah, it's just a pop song. They don't, you know, it's alright. At number 30, Wicked by Future. Now, I don't get this song. I don't get future, but I'm not supposed to get it. That's for the younger generation, but I do play it. And uh, actually in 2016, future was probably the most requested artist at my gigs. So, hey man, you give the people what they want. Me personally, you won't hear me playing it in my car or anything like that. Next up is Sorry, Justin Bieber. Another pop song. At number 28, we have Otra Vez by Zeon and Lennox, featuring J Balvin, reggaeton track. I'm not Puerto Rican, but sometimes when I'm spinning, 
I think I'm sort of Rican. Number 27, All In My Head. Fifth Harmony, Fetty Wap. The dance hall vibe was pretty popular in 2016. This has that reggae dance hall vibe. Number 26, Black Beatles, Ray Strummond. Not a fan of this song, Black Beatles, I don't, I don't get it. The whole big mannequin challenge, this and that. I don't know anything about that stuff. But people want it, you gotta give the people what they want, man. That's the thing, when I gig, I don't play what I like most of the time. I play for a crowd and I try to read the crowd and play for them, so. Number 25, we have Starboy. Starboy, The Weeknd featuring Daft Punk at number 25. Good song, is all right? At number 24, we have My Boo by the Ghost Town DJs. Old track, was brought back by the Running Man Dance. I love the song, it's old. I know it's not a 2016 song, but hey, it was, it reinvented itself in 2016, so hey, cool. It made the list number 24. Number 23, Can't Stop the Feeling by Justin Timberlake. Yeah, old school vibe song. I liked it, had a nice bass line, nice groovy feel to it, feel good song. Feels like old school rapper's delight slash chic. Juju on the beat by Jay Hilfiger and Zayon McCall, number 22. Don't get it, not supposed to get it. Popular over 2016, yep. Number 21, 24 Karat Magic by Bruno Mars. Old school funk sounding song. I loved it, I love the old bass lines, I love the old funk, so. Brought me back to that feeling. Is the younger generation feeling it? Eh, they semi like it. They don't like it as much as number 20 though. Number 20 is Love by Tory Lanez. They took that old Tonto Metro song, the hook from the Tonto Metro song. Tory Lanez took that song, recreated it with his song Love, L-U-V, Love. That's number 20. Number 19, another song by Future. Fuck up some commas. All the young heads love it. And who am I to deny them what they love? Number 18, Stressed Out by 21 Pilots. It's all right, it's okay song. Always played the remix when I played it out. Number 18, Green Light by Pitbull. Nice upbeat pop song, danceable, nice groove. Number 16, we have Too Good by Drake and Rihanna. Another nice pop song. Two really big artists get together, put together this song, and got a good dance beat. I was playing it all throughout 2016. Number 15, we have X's and O's by Ellie King. I love this song. I thought the hook was really strong. I thought the lyrics were really catchy. But all in all, it always had a good response and, you know, just a good strong song. Can't deny it. X's and O's, number 15 by Ellie King. But at number 14, we have Work by Rihanna. Not a song that I particularly love, but it's a danceable, dance hall style vibe. Rihanna gives it that, you know, that nice Caribbean feel. And it worked on the dance floor, so you gotta play what works, man. At number 13, we have Don't Let Me Down by the Chainsmokers. Chainsmokers had a great year, you know? This song was okay. Number 12, Be Right There by Diplo. It's a big dance song. Had a few good remixes of it. Got the dance floor going. Be Right There by Diplo is number 12. Number 11, we got a hip hop jam, All The Way Up by Fat Joe. Got a good response with this song. Was playing it throughout 2016. And comes in at number 11, All The Way Up, Fat Joe. At number 10, we have Let Me Love You by DJ Snake, featuring Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber had a huge year. A lot of huge hits this year. Number nine, Work From Home, Fifth Harmony. Another song you heard on the radio a lot. You heard it out in the clubs. You heard it pretty much anywhere you went. Work From Home, nice catchy hook. Nice catchy song. And number eight, we have Panda by Designer. This song was huge. I didn't care for it, but the young kids love it. So who am I to say they're wrong, you know? I had my generation, I had my music when I was younger. They got their music. It's all good. Number seven, we have Cheap Thrills by Sia. Another dance hall vibe here going on. Nice groove, nice hook, nice upbeat party jam. 
Coming in at number six, Cake by the Ocean by DNCE. You couldn't get away from this song. I mean, when it first came out, I was like, wow, cool. It had a nice disco vibe to it. You know, but then when you hear it about a hundred times, it starts making you nauseous. But it is a good song. It's just, you know what happens, man. They just overplay these songs and then a good song turns into an annoying song. At number five, we have This Girl by Kungs versus Cooking on Three Burners. Great groove. Nice dancey vibe. Nice summery vibe. You know, it popped off like at the end of summer. And it just, it was just a great song. Great response on the dance floor. And number four, another Justin Bieber jam, Love Yourself. Now the original of this song is not really danceable, it's not really playable out in the clubs. But there was a lot of good remixes of it. I played the remix that was a, it was kind of a mashup with the OMI Cheerleader song where he took that beat. And there's a bunch of good remixes of it, so. Coming at number four, Justin Bieber, Love Yourself, good song, strong hook. My mama don't like you, and she loves everyone. Number three, we have This Is What You Came For, Calvin Harris, featuring Rihanna. This was blowing up dance floors all year long, 2016. Great song to dance to. Great song to get the party going. And makes it to number three on my list of 2000. 16's top songs. At number two, we have Took a Pill in Ibiza by Mike Posner. This song was another gigantic hit song. You heard it all over the radio. You heard it all over the clubs. And I personally love the song. I thought it was a great song. So hey, made it to number two. And coming in at number one, One Dance by Drake. Drake had an exceptional year. He had a great album, he had a lot of good hit songs. Kudos to Drake. Anybody that, that puts out material that helps me do my job as a DJ, kudos to them. Drake had a great year, and he comes in at number one with one dance. Well, there you have it. My top 40 songs of 2016. It's time to turn the page. Have a happy, healthy, and prosperous 2017. Yes. DJ Ilias signing off. Yeah, these Illuminati, man, with their artists and these shitty songs. They take these shitty songs and they pound it in your ears over and over. They ear rape you over and over with these songs. And they, they somehow generate hits out of them. So take the shits and they make them hits. So when you see the, the, these, these top lists and charts, they're the shit list, not the hit list. They call, I call them the shit lists. What the fuck is up with music today, man? It's not reflecting what's in the hearts and minds of people out in the real world, man. They're just pounding out these freaking corny, stupid songs. That fucking mindless, numb-mindingly stupid songs and just fucking making them hits. They control the radio. They control the algorithms with Vivo and YouTube and, you know, if you want to hear good music, you can't be passive and sit back and just absorb what's out there. You got to go make a little active effort to go out and find it. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Forget about the mannequin challenge. Let's do the... The stare down. Who could stare longer without blinking? Ready? Go. Did you blink yet? Did you blink yet? Did you blink yet? Did you blink? All right, let's stare at each other and see who blinks first. Did you blink yet? Did you blink? Did you blink yet? Did you blink? Did you blink? Did you blink yet? Did you did you blink? Did you did you blink? Uh, I know you blinked. Uh,